What's up, guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for NBA Saturday, February 27th. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. In this video, I'm going to go over my top picks for today's NBA slate. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the draft dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made. Okay guys, we have a seven game slate tonight. So let's take a look at the point guard position. I've got a handful of point guards for you here. Well, four, so a handful minus one. But I like Jordan McLaughlin. Now, this is a value play. It's a high risk, high reward play here. Jordan McLaughlin from the Minnesota Timberwolves playing the Washington Wizards, who have the third worst defense overall, and they give up the second most fantasy points to opposing point guards. Jordan McLaughlin has averaged 17.6 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 19 minutes per game with a 16% usage rate. He scored 6, 21, and 21 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 20, 25, and 20 minutes. He's projected at 22 fantasy points here tonight. That's 5.8 times value. He's only 3,800 FanDuel salary and 100 more on DraftKings. So you can see this guy's a hit or miss player. Only six fantasy points last game. That's the risk that you run when you're playing these low salary value plays. But you're going to have to use a few value plays here tonight to fit in those studs. So I do like Jordan McLaughlin. And Vegas thinks there's going to be 236 points scored in this game. So you got a super high scoring game. You have a fantastic matchup. So I like Jordan McLaughlin here versus the Washington Wizards. Another point guard that I like is Darius Garland from the Cleveland Cavaliers playing the Philadelphia 76ers who have a middle of the pack defense overall and they give up the six most fantasy points to opposing point guards. Darius Garland has averaged 28.1 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 33 minutes per game with a 24% usage rate. He scored 23, 32, and 44 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 35, 42, and 38 minutes. He's projected at 30.3 fantasy points here tonight, now on FanDuel, that's 5.3 times value because he's only 5,700 FanDuel salary, but he is 900 more on DraftKings. So this is more of a FanDuel play for me. Vegas thinks there's going to be 223.5 points scored in this game. So I like Darius Garland here versus the Philadelphia 76ers. The other point guard that I like, if you're looking for a stud, I like Russell Westbrook from the Washington Wizards playing the Minnesota Timberwolves who have the second worst defense overall and they have been middle of the pack defending opposing point guards. Russell Westbrook has averaged 44.7 fantasy points per game on the season playing an average of 34 minutes per game with a 31% usage rate. He scored 47, 49, and 60 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 37, 34, and 44 minutes. He's projected at 47.8 fantasy points here tonight. That's 5.1 times value. He's 9,400 FanDuel salary and 500 more on DraftKings. Now, I like this pick because Westbrook has scored 51, 67, and 54 fantasy points in his last three games versus the Timberwolves. And we know Vegas thinks there's gonna be 236 points scored in this game. So this is a nice game to stack. So I like Russell Westbrook here versus the Minnesota Timberwolves. The other point guard that I like is Mike Conley from the Utah Jazz playing the Orlando Magic, who have the sixth worst defense overall and they give up the third most fantasy points to opposing point guards. Mike Conley has averaged 
31.9 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 29 minutes per game with a 23% usage rate. He scored 31, 39, and 32 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 33, 26, and 29 minutes. He's projected at 31.6 fantasy points here tonight. That's 5.1 times value. He's 6,200 FanDuel salary and 100 more on DraftKings. So this is a back-to-back, -back, which gives me a little bit of caution here for Mike Conley, but it's a fantastic matchup. He could, he could hit value in 25 plus minutes in this matchup. So I like Mike Conley here versus the Orlando Magic. Okay guys, it's time to announce the winner of our $100 weekly PayPal giveaway. And the winner is Hobson Cherry. Hobson Cherry, you are the winner of this week's $100 PayPal giveaway. Please reply to our comment to collect your prize. Before I continue with the picks, I'm excited today because we added a new contest for everyone watching. If you want to enter the drawing for $100 PayPal, all you need to do is like this video, hit that subscribe button, and make a quick comment below to be entered into the drawing. We'll reply to a random comment and let you know that you won, and then we'll send you $100 PayPal. So it's that easy, and we pick a new winner every Saturday and announce them in our video. So get your comment in now so I can add another entry for you. Okay, let's take a look at the shooting guard position. I'm gonna give you a value play on FanDuel. It's a mid-range play on DraftKings. I like Lugens Dort from the Oklahoma City Thunder playing the Denver Nuggets, who have a good defense overall, and they give up the 10th most fantasy points to opposing shooting guards. Lugens Dort has averaged 21 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 30 minutes per game with a 20% usage rate. He scored 28, 20, and 26 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 32, 30, and 32 minutes. He's projected at 21.6 fantasy points here tonight. That's 5.1 times value. He's 4,200 FanDuel salary, but he's 1,000 more on DraftKings. So I love that FanDuel price. Vegas thinks there's gonna be 224.5 points scored in this game, and Dort has scored 22, 34, 21, and 24 fantasy points in his last four games versus the Nuggets. I think that makes him a pretty safe value play on FanDuel. I'll probably stay away from him on DraftKings, but I like Lou Gents Dort on FanDuel here versus the Denver Nuggets. Okay, another shooting guard that I like is Lonnie Walker from the San Antonio Spurs playing the New Orleans Pelicans who have the fifth worst defense overall and they give up the eighth most fantasy points to opposing shooting guards. Lonnie Walker has averaged 18.4 fantasy points per game on the season playing an average of 27 minutes per game with a 19% usage rate. He scored 21, 15, and nine fantasy points in the last three games playing 33, 19, and 19 minutes. Now, it's important to keep in mind here that he had a 25% usage rate last game, and that's because Derek White is out and Devin Vasile is out, so he's got some injuries at his position, so that's gonna afford him more minutes, more playing time, a higher usage rate, so he's probably gonna score a, a little bit more over his season average, He's projected at 21 fantasy points here tonight. That's five times value. He's 4,200 FanDuel salary and 100 more on DraftKings. Vegas thinks there's gonna be 226.5 points scored in this game. So I think this is a great value play on both sites. So I like Lonnie Walker here versus the New Orleans Pelicans. Okay, let's take a look at the small forward position. I like Michael Porter Jr. from the Denver Nuggets playing the Oklahoma City Thunder, who have the fourth worst defense overall, and they give up the six most fantasy points to, oppo to opposing small forwards. Michael Porter Jr. has averaged 
28.1 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 28 minutes per game with a 20% usage rate. He scored 35, 29, and 20 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 40, 39, and 19 minutes. So I like that he's played almost 40 minutes a game for the past two games. Those are monster minutes, and he's projected at 30.3 fantasy points here tonight. That's 4.9 times value. He's 6,200 FanDuel salary and 300 more on DraftKings. So I like Michael Porter Jr. here versus the Oklahoma City Thunder. Okay, now here's a risky value play for you. You never know what you're going to get with this player, but he has been somewhat consistent the last three games. So as a value play, I like Danny Green from the Philadelphia 76ers playing the Cleveland Cavaliers who have the 11th worst defense overall and they're middle of the pack defending opposing small forwards. Danny Green has averaged 20.3 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 28 minutes per game with a 14% usage rate. He scored 18, 27, and 32 fantasy points in his last three games, playing 23, 31, and 23 minutes. He's projected at 20.9 fantasy points here tonight. That's 4.8 times value. He's 4,400 FanDuel salary and 200 less on DraftKings. Vegas thinks there's going to be 223.5 points scored in this game. So he's been playing pretty well. Gotta love those games that he gets around 30 minutes. I'm hoping for one of those games here tonight. Looks like he's been playing off and on 20 to 30 minutes. So I like Danny Green here versus the Cleveland Cavaliers. Okay, let's take a look at the power forward position. Okay, I have a value play for you. I like Nicholas Claxton from the Brooklyn Nets playing the Dallas Mavericks, who have a middle of the pack defense overall, and they give up the fifth most fantasy points to opposing power forwards. Nicholas Claxton, he scored 33 fantasy points in 15 minutes last game with a 24% usage rate. He's projected at 21.4 fantasy points here tonight. That's 5.5 times value on FanDuel. He's 3,900 FanDuel salary, but he's 700 less on DraftKings. So I love that DraftKings price. Now, Vegas thinks there's going to be 238.5 points scored in this game. So you got a super high scoring game. He's coming off of a great game last game. He might have earned himself some more minutes. And his salary is just super low on DraftKings. Doesn't need much to hit value. He could crush value here tonight. So I like Nicholas Claxton here versus the Dallas Mavericks. Real quick, guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30-day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all of our DFS tools for all sports. You can try the Position Optimizer, where you can see the top players ranked for each position. And we added a new Player Trends tool, where you can see the top salary differences between FanDuel and DraftKings. It's a really good tool to help you pick out value for the site that you're playing on. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Okay, another value play for you. I like Jared Vanderbilt from the Minnesota Timberwolves playing the Washington Wizards, who have the second worst defense overall, and they've been pretty good versus opposing power forwards, but Jared Vanderbilt has averaged 19.6 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 19 minutes per game with a 13% usage rate. But he scored 36 fantasy points last game in 34 minutes. So his minutes got a bump. I hope that continues here tonight. Now he's only projected at 19.7 fantasy points here tonight, and that's 4.5 times value on FanDuel. He's 4,400 FanDuel salary, but he's 300 less on DraftKings. And if he can play anywhere close to 30 minutes here tonight, he should crush value. Vegas thinks there's gonna be 236 points scored in this game. So we got a super high scoring game. So this is a way to get some exposure to this game 
at a low salary. So I like Jared Vanderbilt here versus the Washington Wizards. Okay, moving on to the center position. I like Rudy Gobert from the Utah Jazz playing the Orlando Magic, who have the sixth worst defense overall. And although they've been pretty good versus opposing centers, Rudy Gobert has averaged 39.4 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 30 minutes per game with an 18% usage rate. He scored 39, 29, and 40 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 36, 26, and 29 minutes. He's projected at 39.9 fantasy points here tonight. That's 5.3 times value. He's 7,600 FanDuel salary and 200 less on DraftKings. Now, Rudy Gobert has scored 37, 39, 37, 36, and 48 fantasy points in his last five games versus the Magic. I think that would be close to five times value or more if you're playing him on DraftKings than maybe even if you're playing him on FanDuel. I like that price on both sites. Vegas thinks there's going to be 218 points scored in this game. So I like Rudy Gobert here versus the Orlando Magic. Okay, another center that I like, especially on DraftKings, maybe only on DraftKings, but I like Miles Turner from the Indiana Pacers playing the New York Knicks, who have a good defense overall, but they give up the fifth most fantasy points to opposing centers. Miles Turner has averaged... 35.1 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 31 minutes per game with a 17% usage rate. He scored 42, 35, and 21 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 37, 31, and 30 minutes. He's projected at 36.6 fantasy points here tonight. That's 5.1 times value. He's 7,200 FanDuel salary, but he's 1,200 less on DraftKings. So he's only 6,000 DraftKings salary. Now, I know this is a back-to-back, -back, so that may steer me away from playing him on FanDuel, but that salary is low enough on DraftKings where he can hit value even if he doesn't play, even if he only plays 28 minutes or if his minutes come down. So I like Miles Turner here versus the New York Knicks. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smickety smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this NBA slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.